Okay, this is a very specific video um, to show you how you can uh, make use of uh, automation in um, ICS Telecom or in Hertz Warfare. So step number one is the project. So I suppose you already, you already have a project which you need to use it for the automation. And that project has a um, digital terrain model, it has a cloud model, and the basic uh, PRM for the different parameters. So if you have this information ready, then you can launch ICS Telecom. And then you need to open that project. So I'm going to point ICS Telecom to that project. So open that PRO. So the PRO has the digital terrain model attached to it. You can also have a clutter and a building layer attached, a vector layer and then a PRM. It's, it's very important to have a PRM configured and uh, good to go so the automation can load the different parameters from the PRM. The EWF is not really required because the automation is based on a SQL database so we're going to connect to a SQL database and uh, extract all the technical parameters from there on the fly. A pallet is very good to have a pallet if you guys prefer to have a legend for your RSRP predictions, for example, when it's exported. So it's a good idea to have a pallet handy. So open the project. Now don't worry about what's on the map. I'm just going to delete it for now. I don't need anything. So we need to check the connection with the SQL database. So all the automation features are based on the SQL database. So you to go to SQL database and then uh, click station table. So the tool is giving me an error, that means we don't have a, a good configuration at this stage. So I'm going to link the software to, um, to an ODBC connection. So you can have ODBC or you can have Microsoft SQL connection directly. I'm using ODBC because I have my SQL running, which is from Oracle. So making a new connection, I'm going to give it a short name, ICS, and then I'm going to use the ODBC connection. So all the PC connection setup, we need to um, give it a short name maybe, again, ICS. Put server, so server, I have a local server here running on this IP. And the database is called ICS. And use um, my credentials. Now if you have a Windows credentials um, integrated into the domain, then it's possible to use the Windows authentication. So hit OK. Now it's asking you to select uh, the, the station table. We call it station table. So you go down to ICS station 64. So if you're doing microwave automation, you need to use microwave. If you're doing the station coverage automation, and you have to use the station. So the database is called ICS. The, the table is called um, station X64. So you click OK, and then you notice right away we have sample base stations included in that database. So these are the stations and I, I can choose to import them on the map if I need to. So the database will maintain all the technical parameters, the location, the, the, the transmission power, antenna, all the information will be managed in the SQL um, table. And um, you hit close. Now we have the link established. So next time you go to the SQL database now, it will just take you through right away. And like I said, if you need to import on the map, you could, but this is not required for automation. So now you see, these are the stations on the map. So now the database is configured, um, we should be able to use it now. So I can close this, and now go back to here. So the tool need to receive command line. So if I already prepared here a sequential command lines, I'll show it to you. So this is a bash script, which will execute the, 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 the command line in, in a sequential order. So I'll walk you through these um, commands. We did develop a small um, a guideline document to explain to you what, what, uh, what the parameters are and how they operate. So let me show you. Um, this is the first line. So it's calling ICS Telecom. And then 
it's attaching or loading the, the project, that project. This is the full path to the project. And now we're here we have admin mode and then we have 1008. Now 1008, it means coverage calculation. That's what it means. So the first step, I'm going to calculate the coverage or refresh the coverage. Now after the, the, the action code, which is uh, coverage calculation, we have here the resampling factor. So if you have five meter grid and you want to keep it that way, then you can use one. If you use two, like, like in this example here, the software is going to resample the map from five meter to 10 meter. This is the resampling factor. Now 60 here, the third, third argument, so the first one is the action code, then is the sampling factor. Now here is the signal type. So 60 means LTE FDD. So here we are very specific. We're telling the software only calculate coverage for um, LTE base stations, LTE FDD base stations. Now after this, we're doing here uh, deleting. We're just deleting all the existing um, output that we produced in the previous simulation. So because the simulation outcome is all saved in the, in the destination. So I'm telling the tool to delete all the KMZ files, delete all the TIFF files, delete all the project files, and so on. So the coverage now is refreshed. Now the second step here is the best server. So this command, command line, it will actually connect to the SQL database, export all the stations of the type 60, which is LTE, put them on a map, and, and display the best server coverage. This is coverage analysis. It will display best server. If it's LTE, so it's going to be based on the RSRP. So that will be based on RSRP, and then the results will be, will be saved or dumped at this destination. So the format will be a, a KMZ and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a TIFF format. It will all be exported in this destination. So the format is action code, which is for the best server, followed by the LTE signal type, followed by the destination. So this is the best server. We also have the RSRP. This is the RSRP. So the action code is 1004. Here we have the um, coverage overlap. If somebody wants to do the overlap, it's 1001. Now, if you want to do SANR, the action code is 1000, um, 10, 1014. If you want to do throughput, it's uh, 10.15. So this is, this is the, the, the workflow here. We're going to run the coverage, delete existing data, do the best server, do the RSRP, do the overlap, do the throughput, and do the um, SNR prediction. So this can be executed in many ways. It could be executed from the task scheduler, or you can have an intermediate tool that can do monitoring, and then execute when something changed. So to make it simple now, we're just going to make it by clicking. So if I click now this, this batch script, it will automatically launch ICS Telecom, connect the database, put the station on the map, calculate the coverage as we speak. So I selected the sampling factor 1. So now this is 2 meter resolution. That's the first sector or the first um, cell. Now this is the second one. Once it's done, coverage calculation, it will save the results back in the SQL database. So whatever analysis is executed after that, it will be based on the up-to-date heat maps or, or coverages. Done, updating. Now it should be running the best server coverage based on the RSRP. This is the best server automatically uh, displayed on the map. And now the tool is exporting this into um, a KMZ and a TIFF file. So let's go and double check, see what happened. So if you go to destination, that's the destination specified. You see, I, I already have the KMZ file for the best server. 
So that's the name of the project file. Then there's a dash. Then there's a, a full uh, timestamp, date stamp. So this is the year, the month, the day, and the time. And then we have bus server. So once it's done, the software will also do the rest. So let me just load this one to show you what's, it, what's, out, what's out there. So this is the best server coverage in Google Earth format. Uh, in fact, we can also load the, the TIFF file, the more advanced um, JS software. So I'm going to load the TIFF file. The software is still running, by the way. It's doing now the overlap. So this is QGIS. I'm going to load that TIFF file. So I'm going to try um, this one. So this is the server, so it's only showing you two values, one and two. In fact, it will be more interesting to load um, an RSRP map. Here we go. This is RSRP, you can adjust the display. Probably you can see here that the signal range from NEG 108 dBm to NEG 67 dBm. And uh, for, for the coloring, you can actually adjust the color. You can use something more like, more like um, this. Here we go. So this is a heat map. And now you can also inquire about signal level at any specific spot. If you click here, for example, you see it's next 69 dBm. If you go to the edge here, you see it's next 101 dBm. So this is a, a format that any GIS software can read and analyze, and you can also provide details. So let's go back here. You see now we also have the throughput done. Here we go. That's the throughput. And this is the PSH SNR. I'll shut them down one by one now and reactivate them. This is the overlap. This is the reference signal. Okay. So what do we have? We have the, the we have the RSRP. This is the legend at the top. So the legend is following the user palette, and this is the best server, this is the SINR, and this is the throughput, a little bit per second. So this is what automation is about. It's, um, it's about executing a, a, a sequence and then automatically run ICS Telecom, um, do the, the analysis, connect the SQL database, and then do the modeling, predictions, and analysis, and export the results. And we have a lot more um, um, uh, functions that can be done, and uh, there's um, some functions not implemented yet, and it need to be developed depending on customer's feedback. Thank you for your time. Talk to you soon.